Hi there. Well, we've had a request from the Zill forum, which is zill131.com, uh, I think it is, to uh, put a little bit of detail about the brake modifications and engine change we did on the uh, radio station here. So the driver's cab is more or less the same. You can see here on the uh, steering column is the dead man switch, which I now use as a handbrake and we've got the extra air gauge for the secondary braking system um, without uh, pressure on this system then the brakes won't come off uh, the old handbrake, the caliper type or, or traction handbrake was completely removed uh, during the uh, engine swap and the ratio box which is uh, down here um, was permanently locked into uh, high ratio um, so we don't have the luxury of a low ratio anymore. This is the uh, Cummins B engine in situ. Um, we had to uh, move the front grille forward ever so slightly, hence the uh, rubber bonnet straps which you'll see in a minute. Uh, we used the, uh, the air filter from the 17 ton ERF truck, which was the donor truck. And we also used the header tank for the radiator. very slight twist uh, because of the uh, steering uh, or the sure if you can see, I'll try and zoom in, uh, we use the original rear engine mounting blocks that you can see one um, and we fabricated a new uh, engine block uh, mount. And here you can see the, uh, the fabricated front, single front engine mount that we did to support the coming V engine. Try and get it uh, central in the frame. Uh, Here you see one of the uh, new brake actuators. Uh, the European regulations say that uh, a secondary braking system must be applied to at least two axles. So we did the back two axles with new actuators, which are dual circuit. Uh, as I say, they're, they're, it's called a spring brake because the brakes are normally on and you need air in the secondary system to drive them off when you release the dead man switch. And, uh, the front two actuators are the original Zill ones. There's possibly some numbers on these, so uh, I'm going to give them a clean off and see if we can see any numbers on them. Well, sorry guys, I couldn't find any uh, any numbers on the uh, brake actuators, but uh, I'll take a, a better look when the weather's a bit warmer. It's about minus two here at the moment, and lying on the floor is not exactly uh, perfect. So, uh, what does this uh, diesel actually sound like? Let's have a look. There you go, a nice crisp sound. Here's the dead man coming off. Sadly, I can't drive and change gear at the same time. driving the compound and the brakes going back on out of gear and I'll stop plenty of torque in the old diesel and there's the uh, the beast itself. Hope you enjoy the video.